again, you know, I just think that shows the depth that we have that on a Tuesday night when you don't want to use a lot of guys that have been pitching a lot of innings, we can still come out and give up two runs on four hits. So very, very happy for this guy. What about the scene that kind of comes home and has a big yeah. Yeah, well, I think you should be interviewing him. He wasn't one of the two guys that you guys requested. I really was. I was. I'm very, I'm very disappointed you guys didn't bring the hometown boy up. But no, it was great to see. You know, he, he's one of he's one of the guys that's just the heartbeat of our team and he's a great leader. He's turned into a really good player for us. So happy that he was able to do this. Uh, I'm really happy that he was able to do this as home. Surprised this many Gamecock fans down here in Charleston and uh, put a book schedule home game? No, I'm not surprised because you know Gamecock fans love a great team baseball team and, and that's what we have right now and, and we know this this is very fertile ground for Gamecock fans so we really appreciate it when they out there. Kind of looking ahead. Do you know your rotations going to look like? We're still working through that. Again, you know, we're going to probably finalize that obviously tomorrow. I guess uh, not quite ready to go. When you do make those decisions, what do you look at? What are some things that you value, whether or not to keep it as is or make it short? Well, it's a short week, and that's going to factor into our decision that this is a short week, and you're going to have to ask all of your guys to maybe pitch on a day's less rest. And don't forget, you know, that Jack had to pitch on Saturday, which was already a day up. So we'll factor in a lot of different things, but the short week will be a, a, an important part of it.